So as we're uh, talking about the lie, the lie we've been telling ourselves for a long time, what do you think Baldwin would say? And what do you say to those white Americans who have now come to the conclusion, many of whom voted for Trump, listen, enough is enough. When is enough enough? Baldwin had a moment where he, he, he said explicitly that he loathed the question, what, what else does the Negro want? And typically that question is asked at the moment in which the betrayal, the backlash is about to happen. We've gone too far in trying to remedy uh, uh, the effects, the lingering consequences of America's life. And Baldwin says, the question itself reveals that the person asking it doesn't see me as a human being like he sees himself. Because if he viewed me as a human being like him, he would know exactly what I want, the exact thing that he wants or she wants, right? That I'm not a ward of the state, that we're not objects of charity or philanthropy, right? That racial justice goes beyond white Americans doing something for black folk. To get to the heart of a just society means that, you know, the circumstances of one's living, one's color, one's neighborhood, one, who one loves, doesn't determine, you know, the outcomes of your dreams, as it were, doesn't determine the content of how you imagine the good life. Hi, my name is Alma Saracia at Malcolm X Shabazz High School in Newark. I completed the FAFSA because it's a graduation requirement and to assist me with paying my college tuition. Last year, Newark students earned more than $77 million in scholarships and financial aid. Don't miss out. See your school counselor today. Let's go to work, class of 2023. Complete the FAFSA or NJAFAA. Also brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together. New Jersey Sharing Network, Wells Fargo, PSE&G, committed to providing safe, reliable energy now and in the future. Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, working for a healthier, more equitable New Jersey. Prudential Financial, Newark Board of Education, and by Operating Engineers, Local 825.